Moving on to the main core function of Python is about visualizing data. So we'll do this by installing a particular plugin and that is done with the help of pip install matplotlib. This is a library which is used for mathematically plotting particular bar charts and graphs in Python. So now we will use this command and on the installation you get a command approval that it has been successfully installed. And whenever we call for the module we just mentioned over there with the import plugin. This is already giving already satisfied which means that in my system I have already installed matplot plugin. But in your case if it is not installed then it gives you success message once it has been installed. So matplotlib is basically a library which is used for plotting in Python. A fundamental part of the data scientist toolkit is data visualization. Although it is very easy to create visualizations, it is much harder to use or produce the good ones. There are two primary uses of data visualization if you speak from data science perspective. To explore data, to communicate with the data and to understand and analyze the particular data. In this chapter, we will concentrate on building the skills that you will need to start exploring for your own data and to produce the visualizations. And we will be using this throughout the rest of our course. So let's get started with the first plugin and that is matplotlib. And I have showed you that how the installation actually takes place. A wide variety of tools exist for visualizing data and we will be using matplotlib library which is widely used. And if you are interested in producing elaborate interactive visualizations for the web, it is likely not the right choice but for the simple bar charts or we can say line charts and scatter plots, it looks pretty well. So let's get started with the matplotlib library. So for that, I'll go to my code base and this is my code base and here I'm going to start with matplotlib. So let's get started with the, let's get started by creating the file and that is what is the first step we always do. So I'll just mention over here as plot.py and this file will be my first file for associating with the matplotlib code. So for importing matplotlib library, I just need to mention over here in Python, like it is like a module name. So I'll just mention as from matplotlib import, I'll mention import, I'm going to import pyplot. This is basically used for plotting and I will set an alias as plt. This refers to plotting my library. So once this part is done, now after that I'll call for a parameter which is years and this will be an array value. So I'll just mention over here as 1950 comma 1960 and then comes 1970 and after that comes the parameter that is 1980. So I'm just mentioning a random years which is to be plotted as we are going to plot a simple graph using matplot library. This is my array parameter which is declared. Then I'll give a GDP value. So GDP will be 300.2. Then comes 543, 543.3. And after that comes 1075.9. And after that 2862.9. And after that, 5979.6. And after that, 10289.7. And after that comes the value like, this is the random values that I'm giving. So it is not something which is like uh, accurately defined. It is just a demo graph which, are, which we are going to plot using matplotlib. So this part is done. Now we are going to create a line chart with years on the x-axis and GDP on the y-axis. So I'll just mention a comment over here that is creating, creating a line chart. And line chart will be such that years will be on x-axis and GDP will be on y axis 
After this comes the functionality that is plt dot plot. It will plot for a library and the plot will take a value as the first parameter will be x axis that is years. Then comes the next parameter which is GDP and after that comes the color. I want to set a particular color so I'll set a color as green and after that comes the values for marker. So I'm going to set my marker as O. So these is a secondary parameter I can say. If you're not mentioning then also the values will be, will be plotted accordingly. So marker will be set as O and the line style will be bold. So these parameters are done. After that I'll use the values as plt dot y label y label will be billions of or we can say billions of some rupee value or I will give dollar value just for namesake. Now to show my particular plotting library I need to use a parameter that is show. So I will say plt dot show and this show will show the graph in my uh, per command prompt. Whenever we run the python script it will automatically show me the output. So now what I will do I will go to my command prompt and I will just run my command as python plot.py. If there is any error it will be immediately displayed over here. So it will scan the complete script it will take a while and plot my particular graph inside the python script itself like in our programming languages. Here it is showing some error which is saying about the bold. Okay, So let's take for the parameter. Maybe the bold parameter is not mentioned properly. Instead of bold we can say solid because some uh, Python libraries as they update the parameters is also changed and it does not accept some set of parameters. So I'll set this line style as solid and now I'll run my code again. Just take it to my command prompt. This is my command prompt and here again I'll say python plot.py. So I have changed the parameter because of the some versions of python it does not accept bold it accepts solid. So here you can see a simple line chart is depicted with the gdp values and this is actually billions of that particular values and the years. So this graphs or the charts which are created can be saved and exported accordingly so that is also a plus point. So this was a simple example using matplotlib library. Now in the next chapter we will start with the various type of the bar charts and then light charts and after that we will focus on the scattered plots.